Here is another tutorial and we will show how to add users inside a FreeBSD. It's very simple. First of all you have a command that activates the shell script. It's basically add user. This command is using another program that is called PV. We will check the PV command later and what I can tell about PV is that you can add a lot of options to it, make a lot of change to many accounts and add it to scripting. So add user is basically a shell script that uses the PV. Okay, now to get things done here. When you type add user, you will get an interactive menu. The username is the login name. So if I want a username with Plex, I just add that name like that. Full name is the full name of the user. You don't need to have uh, any specific uh, name there if you don't want, so you can leave it blank. User IDs. What you need to know about user ID is that all unique users get a user ID and they begin 1001 and up to 1002, 1003, etc. System accounts has the user IDs 1000 and lower. So this was the first use, so you don't need, actually you don't need to add any user IDs there. So login group, uh, you can leave it blank also if you don't want to have any groups. We can add groups later. Login group, you don't need to put anything more there if you don't need. So just an advice, users that you need to have the possibility to, to get the SU command needs to be added in wheel. Uh, SU, if you want to, uh, the command is uh, if you want to log in as a root temporary or change to another user. But to make the user able to change the root in any time, you need to invite it to the wheel group. So I, I was inviting this user to wheel. Remember, only users that you permit the root account for. So uh, the login class can also be default. And uh, if you want to add any shells, uh, you simply can select which shell, shell you like. I will use Bash Born Again shell. This is, uh, you need to add it uh, right after the installation of FreeBSD. Um, you install it from the port tree, we will cover it later. So you can just leave it default if you don't want to add any shell, you can change it later also. Uh, home directory is uh, normally put it in the um, in the home directory. In this case, it will be home plex. All users get a unique home directory inside of home. Home directory permissions you can leave it default and uh, use password based authentication. Yeah, of course, we want um, and use an empty password. No and random no need a random now it asks for the password type the password normally what you would like you need to repeat it you don't want to lock out the account if you should use it directly but this is a feature if you want to create an account keep it inactive until you want to unlock it manually Now it has been echoed on the screen and you can see our username, password is secret, full name and the UID, the user ID. And as I told you, the first user gets 1001, the next gets 1002, etc, etc. And accounts on a system level is 1000 or lower. And uh, this is okay, so I make a simple why. And it has added the user successfully to the database. It asks now if you want to add another user. Not in this case. Okay, the user has been created with add user. I was speaking about the PV command before. If you want to check it out, you make man PV. This opens the manual page for this command. The, the PV command we will cover more about later, so we leave it for now. We do like this. I open another virtual terminal here. And I log in as Plex. Now I logged in as my own user there. 
and you can see that I'm in my home directory, Homeplex. And um, I was adding myself to the to wheel group. The wheel group is for one purpose, so I can change myself from Plex to Root in any time by making SU. Then it's prompt to ask for the root password. Remember, only give the wheel group to people that you trust and the one that you can give the password for the road account. So now I enter the road account password there. In this case, it was blank. And now you can see that road at in the beginning of the menu. So there you can see road at homeplex where I'm standing right now in the and this is the bus shell, by the way. OK, if I make who am I? You can see that I'm wrote. So now I just exit and return to Plex and I write who am I? And now I'm Plex again. Um, perhaps it was a bit confusing, but try it out and uh, repeat this a couple of times and you will see how it functions and you will learn a bit more about that. It falls naturally by its place. Okay, I log out Plex and I return to my first virtual terminal. And um, right now, I want to remove the user to show you how to remove them. You make the simple rm user and follow it by the name of the user. This will show you the line of the password file where the name is located. And if you want to remove it, you just simply make y. Now it's asked if you want to remove the home directory and if you want to, if you do this, home plex, the plex directory will be removed from home and all the data will be lost inside of it. So be careful here if you have careful data. In this case, I want to remove it also. And the user has been removed. You can see it also if I try to log in another terminal with this account. And it was not, it doesn't exist anymore. Okay, that covers the simple way of adding and removing a user.